Welcome, everybody, to the first episode of Learning to Talk, the podcast. Uh, my name is Matt, and I am with my friends Zach and Cam. They'll introduce themselves a little more in a second. And we are learning to talk. And, uh, you know, we've we started this endeavor of this podcast to satisfy something in our own souls. But I, I think it's something, at least that we're hoping... But I think it's something that might resonate with you if you're listening as well. Uh, you know, I've been I've been doing ministry in some capacity in New England specifically for 16 plus years in a variety of contexts at churches in Connecticut, Massachusetts, and now I'm in Vermont in the Burlington area. So it's been 16 years of doing ministry in New England, and one thing in in my time of doing ministry, whether it's been as a pastor, a volunteer, as an intern when I was a, a college student. One thing I've seen a lot in, uh, in other ministry leaders and pastors is, is there's this unspoken and sometimes spoken expectation or, or culture of having to, having to sort of hide to not be vulnerable to protect, protect feelings, protect relationships. I've heard pastors and leaders talk about how they can't be real friends with people in their congregations because there's something there to protect and, and something inside to, I don't know, just to keep barriers up, whether that's to protect against people seeing them a certain way or um, uh, just to try to keep a sense of authority or mystery as a pastor or church leader. I've seen it again and again, and and I, I think this expectation and pressure that pastors and church leaders we often place on ourselves is um, it leads to pressure, pressure to look and be a certain way, to try and live a certain way, to have relationships that uh, that are very guarded, and often if it's if it's with certain people, lack a sense of honesty and vulnerability. And um, I, I've seen that pressure lead to, to many things, to, to failure, to sin, to mental health issues, to anxiety and loneliness, and even to burnout uh, for these people who live that way. And we, myself, Zach, and Cam, we just think there's a better way, a better way to live, a better way to do ministry, a better way to just be a person and a child of God as we navigate uh, very tricky waters. And so with that in mind, uh, we've also noticed as we sort of live our lives and engage with different books or podcasts or teachings that, that uh, a lot of media these days, Christian media, is focused on, on leadership or how-tos. You know, how to build a better church, how to maximize your leadership capacity, how to build a multi-ethnic congregation, things like that. It's a lot of how-tos in ministry. And uh, we see a gap in this uh, media for telling stories and, and encouraging honesty and I don't know, just being real and vulnerable rather than, than having to have the right answers and look a certain way. And, and um, so part of what we're trying to do here is to fill this gap in the space that we see to talk honestly, to talk vulnerably, to, Talk about failure and how that's affected us. Learning to Talk, the podcast, is very much about honest and vulnerable conversations surrounded around our lives and what it means to be in ministry. And we're not perfect. We're, we're not saying like, hey, what we do is right or how we do it is right. We don't have necessarily the leadership strategy to lay out before you, but we do feel like we have stories and experiences uh, to share and to tell. And we think that and we hope that you listening have have those experiences as well. And what we share and what we talk about might resonate with you and encourage you as we encourage each other to learn to talk about it in a real way. How we're hurt, how we felt rejected, the joy we feel in a lot of situations as we as we go through ministry and uh, and go through life. So that's what this podcast is. Learning to talk is about the three of us learning to talk about these things, learning to be vulnerable, learning to be honest. And our hope is that uh, if you're listening or watching or however you're consuming 
this and engaging with it that you would feel free to learn to talk as well because we do think there's a better way. Um, I want to take a minute here and uh, spend a minute introducing ourselves and uh, sort of who we are, what we do, and um, yeah, why why we're part of this podcast. So uh, I I will start since I'm already talking. I hope that's okay with you guys. Yeah, get away. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So well, I just think it's powerful what you said. It's a, this is what we get to do is as we personally encounter and if we have other people on these struggles to want to hide or feel the pressures of not wanting to be vulnerable. We get to do this together. And and as you watch or listen, you get to come alongside us as we learn to be vulnerable and talk. Yeah. Uh, vulnerability is not easy. <clears throat> Would you say it's easy, Zach? No, no, it's not innate in us. I don't even think as like, I don't know. Humans probably there's a self protection. Yeah, even comes. even beyond just being a pastor, which I am, and I'll I'll introduce that in a second. It, like just being a person and a man. Like sometimes I don't want to talk about it. Sometimes I I bottle it up. Uh, sometimes I don't. You know, I have a wife. I like don't talk to my wife about things because I just don't want to answer the questions and go through this. And I don't know. Is that good? I don't think that's always good. So again, this space is to help us learn how to talk about it and uh we hope we hope as you listen that that you'll walk that journey with us and and learn how to talk so my name is matt baumgartner i am a uh i'm an associate pastor at a local church in uh burlington vermont i live in the city of burlington and i'm part of a a church family that is a a multi-site uh church newly multi-site as uh our church has uh partnered with another local church that was that was declining to help revitalize and that's taken the form of a multi-site church. So my role is I am the campus pastor at the other site as well as I oversee our discipleship at the church as a whole. And I'm also the we'll call it secondary preacher. Our lead pastor preaches mostly. I preach second mostly. And uh so I I have I I'm given the the ability to do that which is uh which is pretty sweet. Grew up in Connecticut, uh, Southern Connecticut, out just about an hour outside of New York. Uh, came to know Jesus in middle school through youth group, and then uh, well called to ministry at the at the age of nineteen. Um, in upcoming episodes, we're going to be sharing our stories of why we're in ministry. So tune in for that for each of us. Um, I have a wife. I've got two boys. They're right now seven and five years old, uh, and I love New England dearly. I've been, I grew up in New England. I went to college and grad school in New England. I've served in churches in New England. I love New England. Uh, My in-laws live in Charlotte, North Carolina. And every time I go to Charlotte, North Carolina, the first day or two I'm there, I'm like, oh, this is cool. And then by day three, I'm like, get me out of here. I need (laughs) to get back to New England. So go Bruins. Let's go Bruins. Huge Boston Bruins fan. Um, I'm also a New York Giants fan. What? So yeah, well, I grew up near New York. My dad and mom are both from New York, so I, you know, don't don't ask too many questions about that. Mm. Um, but and I'm here because of the reasons I just explained. I, I, I need to talk about things. Like I'm naturally an introvert, but that doesn't always make me feel good when I do introvert things. So processing and living life and and talking through stuff um, with issues of ministry and life and you know, the honest conversations we're hoping to have here, I'm really excited about and sharing with these two guys and uh, these two guys I consider friends and ministry partners. So uh, Zach and Cam, happy to have you here. So anyway, that's a little bit about me. Uh, Zach, who the heck are you? Yeah, my name's Zach Stevenson. I um, have a wife and three kids, two daughters and a son. Uh, I didn't grow up here in New England, grew up mostly in Kentucky. Um have been here for the better part of the last 10 years though. Um, and I get the opportunity and the privilege of being a worship leader, um, here in the area. I work for a nonprofit where I get to, to have relationships with people and serve and support the church throughout Vermont, um, on a regular basis. So, uh, 
I just love the ability to, and the opportunity I think we're going to have to just process together. I'm a verbal processor. Um, so when we start talking, things just start coming out. And I think, I hope and believe that as you tune in and we kind of just talk about what the Lord's doing has done in our lives, where he's calling us and how we can, um, better just process all of those things that we're going to have some really cool topics that we're going to hit on. Yeah. Topics that I hope are, are universal. You know, we're, yeah. we're hoping to talk through success, failure, guilt, um, joy, and, uh, just share stories. We want to be storytellers and really mm-hmm. process things honestly. So thanks Zach. I'm glad you're on board uh, with that. Cam. Okay. Who are you? I'm, uh, I'm cameraman Cam. <laughs> I haven't taken that identity yet. Anyway, uh, I'm Cam Bushy. Uh, we before we started this recording this episode, we were talking about how uh, these guys are way older than me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't say it like that, Cam. <laughs> Come on. I, they they said their ages, sure. and I was surprised. No, I'm just kidding. I was actually surprised. So I've been doing full time ministry for four years, which is which in ministry years is I'm an infant basically. Um, you guys have been doing it much longer than I, I have. <clears throat> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, much, much longer. Yeah. Yeah. Much. You're welcome for that. Um, anyway, I'm the tech director at our local church. I work with Matt. We're both on staff together. Yeah. Zach just hangs out a lot. Um, <laughs> doing I just what, give all the good ideas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Zach. Yeah. Like getting me hired. Right. Um, it's because of Zach that I have my job. Not even kidding. Anyway. So. I'm the tech director, basically the official tech nerd of the church. I just make sure the lights are on. You can hear sound and you can see pictures. That is my job. I've been doing that for four years. I've been serving in the church for probably eight or nine years, I would say. Started out as a volunteer, kind of brought up by the tech guys in the church, and then they brought me on staff. So that's kind of cool. But, you know, I am 22, and my perspective of ministry is... I've been learning about the back, like the behind the scenes of the church, basically the whole time I've been working at the church. And that's taught me a lot. And that has brought a lot of really incredible moments and some moments that blindsided me. And it's cool that we get to kind of talk about some of those things. So anyway, that's kind of the perspective that I bring. And that's also who I am. Oh, I'm a filmmaker also. I should probably say that. That's a big thing that you do. Yeah, yeah. that is. Okay. So I have a, my own <laughs> I have my own film company. I do video production <clears throat> for all sorts of companies and brands and businesses. And um, that my skill set is definitely in video. I do a whole bunch of ministry videos as well as everything else under the sun, I suppose. But I also work at a church as a tech guy. Yeah, super thankful for Cam. That's a good perspective, right? Yeah, that work. Okay, and he is is, is younger, and it's important. And I'm I'm more thankful than your perspective is your podcasting equipment, Cam. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. We literally couldn't do this better. No, I I will say uh, one awesome thing that I'm excited for for the three of us is we're all in ministry. We're all in uh, sort of the, the same place in in Vermont. But we're all in very different ministry contexts. You know, I'm a I'm a pastor. I'm ordained. I preach. I do all that. Zach is a worship leader working in a para church nonprofit uh, ministry that serves churches and serves the city as well. And then Cam works behind the scenes in tech and does so much other stuff, uh, video and other podcasting and media. And uh, you know the the perspectives I think that will that we have to share with each other are going to be uniquely shaped by each of our lives and experiences. So I don't know that, that to me is just really exciting to, to not only get to be friends with you guys as, and, you know, do ministry sort of in partnership with different skills and jobs and, and uh, eyes for things, but uh, just the perspective I think we can each bring to our conversations, just being yeah. so different in how we do ministry in the context we're in. For sure. Yeah. So we're, the intention of this first episode is just to keep it short, to introduce who we are, what we're doing, and um, 
uh, I don't know, guys, do you want to share anything else before we sign off on this first episode and look forward to our next, uh, our next few episodes more and, and that are each focused on the three of us and why we're in ministry. Anything, anything you want to say? Yeah. I mean, that's all I would say. The next three episodes are about why we're sitting here Yeah, more in depth. And it was cool. We already recorded those spoiler alert and they went <laughs> awesome. So yeah, it was good. <laughs> so please tune in and be ready for a little bit of nonsense. Always nonsense, especially because these guys hate me for it, but I, I've been tending to have a Red Bull before and during our recording, and um, I don't know. It makes me very nonsensical at times. And if we're going to flex the ordained thing, I'm ordained too. Uh, yeah, you're ordained. I'm okay. not ordained. I'm, I'm, I want to do Cam's wedding. I want to do Cam's wedding. I know. I'll fight you for it. Oh God! <laughs> All right. Does that well, mean tune I, in. I need to get married. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tune in for Zach and I fighting about who gets to do Cam's <laughs> wedding in a future episode. No, I'm, but uh, we're super excited to start this new endeavor. Um, we hope that you benefit from our conversations and that you it resonates with you. I know just from the little bit we've recorded a few episodes already. I uh, I have been so blessed by those by those conversations, and um, I'm just excited to share them with you all. So this is Learning to Talk. We are Matt, Cam, and Zach. And Cam just told me, hold on, what's up? Well, I imagine that people who are listening to this are in similar situations. Volunteers, like what I'm so excited about is, yeah, we're going to talk about us three, but don't, also I don't want people to get bored and thinking that it's just going to be us three idiots talking every week. I'm excited. We're going to talk to pastors, talk to church leaders, volunteers, all sorts of everything in between about this thing we do called ministry. Yeah. And it's going to be awesome. Thank you. Thank you for mentioning that cam. Cause I wasn't going to, cause for some reason I, I just, that it's the Red Bull. It's not me. It's the Red Bull. All right. Wrap it <laughs> the up. Nonsense. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We are excited to share our conversations to share uh, conversations we have with uh, some other ministry leaders as well. And, um, yeah, we hope that you, we hope, we just hope this resonates with you. Um, Cause I think it's been resonating with us as we've gone along as well. Thanks for tuning in. So excited to, to start this journey with you and hopefully uh, we will see you. We won't be seeing you. Hopefully you will see or hear us soon. Uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram at learn to talk podcast, the official podcast of learning to talk. And uh, if you send us a message on Instagram, we get that it's uh, it's managed by us. Cause we are, <laughs> we're no big operation. Right? We're, it's just, <laughs> it it's just three doofuses with microphones, uh, but send us a message. We'd love to hear from you and uh, take your comments, suggestions and anything that you have to offer. We want to, we want to dive in with you and, uh, and we hope you dive in with us as well. So thank Thanks for being here. Uh, We look forward to sharing more conversations with you soon on Learning to Talk. Learning to Talk podcast was produced by 6-5 Films in Burlington, Vermont. If you enjoyed our conversation, make sure you find us on YouTube, Apple, and Spotify. And like, comment, subscribe. You can also follow us on Instagram at Learn to Talk podcast. Thanks for listening. See you again soon.